Hi folks, I'm Nick. And I'm Anna. We are two star players and this is Mutant Year Zero Road to Eden. Which um, hits very close to home. From... It hits very close to home. It, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm of the Swedish persuasion. I happen to be Swedish and this pl takes place in a post-apocalyptic Sweden. Yeah, but it's on the wrong coast. Mm. Uh, made by it, it's developed by a Norwegian company. It's based off an old Swedish tabletop RPG. Yeah, mutant. Uh, mutant, yeah. Uh, and I used to play this as a little kid, so it's super cool that they're making a game out of it. it it's very reminiscent of XCOM in the playstyle, which we both played excessively. Yeah, so this is is right up our alley. Yeah. Uh, this is not a full version of the game. This is a demo that's out now, uh, that's just sort of like the first hour of the game. The game is going to be out proper on December 4th. Uh, when that happens, we are going to do like a full playthrough of the game, definitely. Yeah. Uh, but for now, uh, we can show you like just the beginning of the game and uh, what is to come. So let's dive right into it. As you explore the post-apocalyptic region of Gothenburg with... Mm. Ducks and Bormen. Yes, uh, these are two, like, you only play with these two. There's gonna be, like, a third character called Selma as well it, that they've been introduced so far, and there's gonna be And there's gonna be well. more, right? There's gonna be more. Um, we're gonna just gonna put it to normal. We can, if we want to, choose um, Iron Man mode or Iron Mutant mode, I guess. Which means <laughs> that we won't be alive, allowed to do any saves coming. Yeah, so that's, let's do that. that yeah, sure. Let's do that for this. Mm -hmm. uh, this is just a demonstration anyway. So you have this some means... experience with tactical games. Yes, we do. Animals deal more damage. Mm -hmm. Stalkers regenerate 50% health after combat. Skill sure. cooldowns are not reset. So we'll see how this differs from XCOM. But this is just like XCOM in that if you do Iron Man mode or Iron Mutant mode, yeah. uh, that means you won't be able to save the game manually, which means you can't reload if something goes wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, you're just stuck with your choices and yes. if you die you die uh all right all right but we ain't scrubs so we're gonna try this speak for and, yourself and we're going <laughs> completely blind we are we have not tried this uh demo before so this is our first oh, sort of look, test with this it's a it is a d20. d20 i like that uh yeah because it, it's based off an old um like i said a pen and paper role-playing game yeah uh Somewhere east of the Ark. Another day, another mission, risking our necks for the Ark. You know, I ask myself, Ducks, why are you out here? And you know why. The Ark's water pump is broken again, and Hammond said he needs more scrap to fix it. Yeah, well, we'd do it a lot better if he'd sent us somewhere with actual scrap to find. Why do you have to be so annoying? Come on. We gotta head back before prep closes for the night. Hey, can you increase the text size for that? Uh, I'm not sure. I couldn't see that option in the menus. Oh, okay. I can't. I can't read that too good. I it's mean, fine. I mean, I can hear them, sure. but I just. But I just have like subtitles. It just it doesn't show okay, you like. Okay. Okay. I'm I'm a big fan of all games that have that option on account mm. of me being so short-sighted right <clears throat> so you have the you click metal. f to split up otherwise i don't know how the controls do you use okay so it's just uh wasd yeah and uh, trust me i'm not annoying shut the I hell up yep tab to switch between uh teammates what's wrong with you what is it ting berry or shut yeah, you only told me Knup Knup so these are all Swedish signs. All right. They're not interactable, but uh, okay. So apparently this game has a lot of stealth elements to it. Hold Q. Okay. So Q, I guess, is my uh, objectives. Okay. Return to the Ark. Can you turn around and is there something else you can see in the other direction if you Q? No. Uh -uh. <laughs> and um, so the combat is it, w w once you hit combat then the game becomes turn based like an XCOM game but until you hit combat it's sort of like free roaming like this yeah and you can you can even set up your combat start because you can sometimes see the enemies and like position yourself yeah. in, in this thing 
I think that's what I gathered from the trailer. Look at this. Ooh. Beautiful. Ooh. Just beautiful. This scrap's gonna make us heroes back at the Ark. So this game takes place in um, uh, a far future. Uh, it's based... Like, there are a couple of different mutant games. Not just any mutants. Stalkers. Tight muscles. Good meat. I smell it too. Where there's stalkers, there's Ark. Where there's Ark, there's... Killing time for Skizix and Trebo. Look out! They're close! 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 Over there! Okay. Come, brother! I'm on their trail! Ooh. So I guess we can choose to attack these guys or ignore them. Uh, I kind of want to test out the combat. Yeah. Uh, and I know that like the, the flashlight is fine. They can't see your flashlight when you're out of combat. And you have these uh, these sort of visual cones to them, so you can like see how close you can get before they spot you. So I have an option for ambush, which is I guess we just take the first shot. And I guess it's better to do that with um, ducks, because he is the sniper. But you want to position them somewhere where they're like, you know, yeah. there is a... Oh. They're oh, walking. Oh, oh. Yeah, you have to I got be careful. This. Cover me. So I chose the split up, op uh, split up option, which means I can just move them individually. And, and Borman is your tank, right? Borman is a tank, correct. So I guess I'll just... Well, a Borman is going to charge in when shit hits the fan, so I'll just put him here. And ducks can be more of a... Whoa. Uh, Borman, you need to, yeah. Actually, I um, hey. I watched a short, uh, I watched a, a stream for a while. Yeah. Where uh, some of the devs were playing, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, there wasn't happening all that much during the time. But one thing I do remember is what they said is, uh, ah. you can be touched by the red circle for a couple of seconds before okay. something happens. So but if it, it touches you and you immediately walk away, you're fine, I think. So I can hide there and that's half cover. So that's the same as... Um, uh, XCOM, yeah, it, X even has, yeah. It, it even has... But the they've been very them. open about the fact that, that this is heavily inspired by XCOM. But huh? that's... that's and apparently when he's in hiding, the other guy can't see him, so that's good. I don't, I'm not sure I can find good cover, but let's just take the shot. You're just standing out in the open yep. and... Uh-huh, that's fine. Combat is turn-based. Each stalker gets two action points per turn. Some actions such as shooting, throwing, or sprinting will end your turn. All right. So far, I have not been spotted. So now we go into pure XCOM. Can can you therefore get out of the combat mode if you haven't been spotted? Or are you locked into combat once you've done this? No, there's exit combat. Okay, okay, cool. It. Okay. So if I go here, for example, it says that it will alert them. So they will see me if I go there. They won't see me if I go here. Mm -hmm. And I guess the line shows me that I will have line of sight. But it also says up there that he's out of range. Here he will not be out of range, but I he, I will be spotted. So I'm actually not in a super good spot. But what I can do what, is just... What, what tells you that you're out of range? Uh, the top right says, yeah, out, of, uh, says out of range. Oh, you're right. But what I can do is I can just go over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, I still won't be able to shoot. Mm -hmm. He's still out of range. But what I can probably Overwatch? do is go on Overwatch, which means I take a shot if he were to go into range. All right. Overwatch. So I'll choose that. Mm -hmm. And Bormin, activating this unit will engage it into combat, ignoring it will allow you to keep it hidden in the same location for later. So he's hidden. So I can choose to just keep him hidden or activate him. But then he's going to be seen. Well, yeah. So I'll just take ignore, yeah. keep him hidden for now. Yeah, and we are in cover. Flanking can uh, get rid of cover. Yeah, and like that guy to the right is probably gonna flank at least one of them. So now guys. it's our turn again. Which means I can get closer. Now, it will alert them. Yeah. It will alert them, but I don't think I can get in range uh, without alerting at least one of them. All right, then. So let's do it. 
He did see me. But you still get to... Wait, I'm still out of range? Uh, I mean, click two. Yeah? Oh, okay. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, I, I don't think that was correct. Yeah. It's just out of range for so this walking does, there. Right? So this uh, crossbow does four damage. You can see in the mm -hmm. bottom left corner. And I have a 100% chance to hit here. So this is a guaranteed kill. Because you can see that he has four health. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. Not a problem. Alright, so... Oh, this guy hasn't even seen you. No, he has not. Well, he's about to. Oh, he saw me. Oh, and he gets to run up and just get an attack immediately. Huh. Well, it was his turn. It was his turn. Um, That's only fair. Yeah. I assume that like he could, his action points would have been spent on just walking up there. But I guess not. Uh, we can regroup. They're getting closer and to the Ark every day. Something's up, Borman. So I took some damage there, unfortunately. I found a weapon mod. One additional crit damage. 50% chance to burn enemies. Alright. Okay. Is that something that I can equip right away? I assume that's something that you have to, like, do at the Ark. Maybe. We'll see. Do I have, like, an inventory? I do have an inventory. Outfits, armor, don't have any. Outfits, don't have any. Items, it's not there. And he just has the scatter gun and the pistol, the stinger. Uh, but I don't see any... Do you have ammo? How does that work? Or do you just... Ooh. So this is like level ups, you get mutations. Yeah, mutations. Stat bonuses are permanent. Yeah. yeah, that's that's also something they said in that stream is like when they get stressed, mm. you know, they get mutations. So. Oh right, I really? assume, Wow, cool. I assume stressed means XP. Mm. But like the ah. lore explanation. Yeah, there we go. It's in the backpack. Use the workbench in the yeah, arc to yeah, attach this to your figured, weapons. Yeah. Cool. Um. Okay. You know. I realized something. What did you realize? If you're in a post-apocalyptic world looking for like trash from previous civilizations, yeah, Sweden is not a good spot. <laughs> you guys don't litter. That's true. We we, <laughs> we do a lot of recycling yeah. in this country. Um, <laughs> you should see our fast food chains. They're amazing. Ah, yes. Max Burgers, where you're expected to, like, sort your own trash before handing your mm. tray back. So I could have done, like, a better split up there and, like, attack them from two uh, different sides I'm, at the I'm, same I'm, time. I'm, I'm. I guess I didn't. Yeah. Uh, over here I saw something shining red, which looks cool. We're gonna go over there. Uh, but yeah, like I said before, post-apocalyptic Sweden, uh, this muted year zero game world, it takes place in. Um, Bulls. God. Every time I try to say something. Big one. We have to be sneaky. Okay. Here's the plan. We turn off our lights, then hug the water, go around them. But there's such a big box of shiny loot there. But it's a cooking pot. Oh. Enemies with a red skull are too high level for your team and will kill you. Mm -hmm. Good to know. Avoid Red Skull enemies, and explore the zone to find encounters that match your team's level. Yeah, it's like, okay. there's enemies in the zones, and they don't respawn, but you apparently can I come back. Oh, stars. level 55. Yeah. Beat their faces till they die. Okay, so this is just teaching us how to sneak around stuff. Mm -hmm. Give me the stalkers. Let them come. So far, so good. Arc but yeah, don't love stalkers. I don't know. But anyway, as I was saying, <laughs> uh, there are f like there were four different mutant games. Yeah. Like mutant, mutant twenty eighty nine or something, which is one I played. Uh, and then there's uh, another one. Make flights easier. Fight easier by taking out stragglers. Stealth kills before tackling the main pack. Gotcha. 
we can do that. Uh, okay, so we're hopping to another zone now. So these are just mm -hmm. loading tips. Uh, but this is Mutant Year Zero, and this takes place in a world where uh, sort of humanity went extinct uh, because of natural disasters. They tried to sort of save... The <coughs> They try to save humanity by uh, mutating humans with different animals to see if maybe one of them could like survive the harsh climate of the world or whatnot. Um, which is and um, which is why you see like pig people and duck people and whatever. I thought it was pretty fun playing like as a turtle man back when I did the, my own <laughs> ventures into actual man. oh yeah role playing. Why not? I have I have a okay. shell. Shells yeah. are cool. Yeah, sure. A campsite. Looks like a family lived here. Lived here and died here. Nothing like a bunch of skeletons to put your mind at ease. Sad. Ooh, a medkit. So I'm just gonna pick this up with ducks, I guess. Do they not have a shared inventory? Ah, I guess they do. Healing outside of combat always refills you to full health. Okay. Oh, maybe we should do that. Maybe we should do that. It's not in the backpack. Where um, is it? Inventory item. No, that's grenades. Uh, let's see. Where? Ah, okay. So it's no. You can't click on it. Where can it be? Go to squad. And. Can you click on it now? Uh uh. On, on the headkit, I mean. Uh uh. Um, Just shows you what his health is, I guess. Okay, go back to the map. It's gotta be in the inventory. It's not in the backpack. Hmm. Let's look at the controls. It might just be that like there's a dedicated button for yeah, that's um, what I uh, for med kits. Let's see. Heal action seven. But that's in tactical mode. That is in tactical mode. Uh, okay. Real time mode. Inventory I move blah 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 blah. Well, let's just try it anyway, right? All right. That does nothing. Can you click on his portrait? Oh. Well, can you... Can here. you right click his portrait? Nope. Maybe, maybe a healing item is something you have to equip in the arc? No. Like you have to, like, you know, in... Like an oh, here. E. Use med pack. Oh, well, you're on the wrong character. We're dumb. Look, it just says E. Use med pack. Okay. Fine. Hey. <clears throat> All right. You, you didn't see anything. <laughs> Nothing happened here. We're good at video games. Yes. Ah. Uh, showing my ass just immediately. Can you pick anything up? At that refrigerator box or whatever that is? No, it seems like uh, you can see if it's pick upable or not just because it's glowy. There's a bunch of skulls. That's <laughs> ominous. There's a cabin up ahead. Definitely feel a ghoul vibe coming off of it. So we run in, guns blazing. Too dangerous. This is if where you meet Selma, I think. A good position. A good position From the trailer, at least. Mm. It looks like Turn a hut flashlight. where she was. Okay. So we turn off our flashlight, so we are in sneak mode. Yeah. And it's telling us to like just pick off stragglers while we're in sneak mode. Oh, got some scrap. Probably not gonna do much for us because I don't I'm not sure we'll even have access to the arc while we're in this mode. Hungry! Hungry! I guess we take the arc! Tasty mutants! <laughs> Love me some mutants. <laughs> there we go! Rip their hearts, crush their... Hey, hey! You hear that? You hear that noise? I hear my stomach. Hungry! Kill! Jeez. Yeah. So I think Bormin can probably hide here. Okay, spread out. And then we'll split up. 
so uh, good old ducks can sneak around. Like obviously, there's also go up there. There's an argument for getting up there and just yeah, having. Yeah, do it. The problem is like I don't trust his range. Do I'm not it. sure he's gonna be able to kill anything from there. Do it. It clearly wants you to. You think? Yes. That's like, come on. You're a sniper. Yeah, you but then want... I'd have to. You 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 can hit him from here. I'm sure. The problem is that's not what I want to do. Why? Oh, oh that made noise. Uh, because I want to pick off people who are by themselves before I start the fight. That, that's literally what the tutorial told me to do. And I saw that there was one guy over here called a butcher. Oh, so you're just gonna ambush the butcher? Yeah. Okay. So I'm just gonna wait until he's a bit closer. I think now, maybe? I don't know. I have not been spotted. I'm gonna activate this guy. 50% chance to hit. Alright. So I guess I should have been a bit closer. Right? Mm -hmm. Or I can exit combat. Yeah. We can try that because I haven't been spotted. Sure. Oh, the. Oh, God. He did see me though because I was too close. So that was a dumb. I made a dumb. And they're gonna run toward me, which means that Bormin is just in the way wrong place. On the other hand, they haven't seen him, so now he has good... Uh... The problem is that they're in Overwatch. Yeah, but Bormin. Yeah. So that guy, I have to go around in order to get rid of his... Uh, no. I have to go around in order to get rid of uh, his cover. Oh, sorry. But in order to do that, I have to... Um, uh, let's see. I have to eat their overwatch fire. Borman can sprint, but that spends two action points. And that means I won't be able to, sh to sprint to shoot. I might be able to sprint up to some sort of cover and uh, throw a grenade, perhaps? How do I... No, no. Jesus. Well, that was lucky. Well, I just uh, clicked the right mouse button. What? Oh. Because uh, I wanted to rotate the camera, and I thought uh, maybe like if I hold Q down the right. Q and E, I think. Huh? It's Q and E, I think. Q and E. Mm -hmm. You're probably right. Uh, yeah, okay. camera rotate. You hold Q. All right. Yeah, you hold Q. Okay, fine. So, I fucked up, but uh, that was a bit lucky actually. Mm. So that, that doesn't do a whole lot of damage. It doesn't do a whole lot of damage. All it does is just clear out their cover. Oh, okay. Uh, the problem is that this is... I'm not in cover at all. So it might be better for me to actually get into cover yeah. rather than shooting. But I did draw out all their overwatch fire. All right. So maybe now with ducks I can... Uh, move around here and shoot him because if I stand you can, here you can move there behind that stump and shoot the butcher there I can the problem is I'm gonna be very close. It's gonna be very easy for him to run up and just uh, pop me uh, Here it might be a bit harder for him to get a good flanking shot and this is enough to get a hundred percent So we're gonna do that even though I've kind of messed up with the with the controls and stuff right. and just done a couple of goofs all right, yeah. Well, yeah. this is still your first time yeah. playing this game. It is the you first time we're it. playing this game. And Bormin still has uh, one action point. So either I can run to cover, I can take a 50% chance uh, shot, but the problem then it will be that um, uh, even if I hit and kill, there's still one guy left and Bormin is not in cover. Or I can try to just... Uh, move into cover right mm -hmm. uh, which is probably the best thing to do so Bormin actually did good this turn just by drawing out their overwatch fire uh, this is obviously still not ideal oh damn it he hit me oh, no. I know it's a sniper and the other guy in there is in overwatch no 
God, I keep on clicking the right Stop. mouse button. Why are you clicking it? I don't know why I'm clicking buttons. I am playing so badly. Um, I just wanted to move the camera. Hey, um... Well? I can see a reload button, but I can't see your ammo. Uh, me... It's probably the, the three ah, things yes. down oh, there. God. Well, again, I did draw out the Overwatch fire. But you can you can go there behind that park bench. Yes, I can. And then you can hit that guy. Yeah, I can. Uh, it's probably still not great. I should probably be closer with the shotgun, but we can try it. It's fifty percent. It's still not gonna kill him. Come on. Nice. Nice. But Borman could die here, obviously. Woo! That's a miss. So that guy is still in Overwatch. This turn, I'm not gonna click the right mouse button. No, you have no ammo. I, oh, this this thing has only one shot. Yeah, that's why it has to reload. Uh, and reloading, does that take his entire turn? No, it takes one point, so I can still shoot. I have no chance to hit from here. So you should also go to Overwatch. Either that or move, depending on what Borman does. Yeah. Borman can get closer <laughs> to get a better shot with yeah. his shotgun. Yeah. Uh, but he's gonna take a hit from the Marauder in that case, because I'm probably gonna trigger his Overwatch. All right. Well then. Does it say? It does show a red line, but that only shows my line of fire. Uh, well, like your line of fire is the same as theirs, only they go, you know. Mm -hmm. One goes in one direction, the other in the other, but it's the same line. Yeah, but I'm just saying it's a red line, so that means that he can see me. Right? No. No, it, it can't. Because I'm I'm just thinking that this shows my line of sight, not my opponent's line of sight. So it's red, which means I can't see the enemy if I stand there. Okay, I still think you should go behind that log. And I think the white shows my chance to hit, if it's a good shot or not. But I might be able to go here without triggering Overwatch. I was correct, <laughs> I did not trigger Overwatch. And this should be 100%. Mm -hmm. Guaranteed hit. Okay. Don't fuck with the arc mutants. <laughs> wow. That's 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 rough. And yeah, I can't I can put him in Overwatch mm -hmm. in case he wants to move out of there. Yeah. Okay. Let's that try protects it. Borman, I think. A bit. Yeah, and he's just staying there. He's just staying there in Overwatch. Well, in that case, I think ducks should switch cover, draw the overwatch fire so Borman can kill this guy. Well, that guy is just looking there. I think Borman can probably get up here. Okay. Still only a 25% chance to hit, though. Or Borman can throw a grenade and destroy his cover. Sure. I like that. Let's try to do that. So I'm going to throw the grenade... Uh, let's see, where can I throw it? I can actually throw it inside the house. Here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I set the house on fire. <laughs> that... so let's stay on Overwatch for another turn and see what he does. Alright. Oof! Oof. Bingo. Yeah, sure. Nailed it. Nice. Forced him to move and... You got a level up. I got a level up. This is exciting to me. Both of them got a level up. Okay, that means we get mutation points, they which can... we can use to mutate. Sweet. Ah, oh, can ducks get his wings? Uh, seems like it. So I have... We can either get a health booster, permanently increases mm -hmm. health. <laughs> you can get a couple of those, and I guess mm -hmm. that's him because he's a tank. Yeah, ducks has a bit different things. All right. Uh, enables an action after sprinting. He'll do oh run and gun. Oh my god, I was going to say earlier, I wish you had run and gun. Uh -huh. You have to pick run and gun. Uh, draw attention to yourself. So that's an aggro tool. Yeah, no, run and gun. Can destroy covers. Uh, twitch shot, stone skin, eagle eye. So these are like at your level or whatever. But I have two no, points it's, available. No, it's, it's the, the cost. So you have oh. two points available. Obviously, you pick run and gun. Obviously, we pick run and gun. Run and gun is one of my favorite XCOM abilities. So does that actually alter his physical appearance? 
No, he yeah. just had a cool little animation. Yeah, he, he mutated a bit there. Sure. And, and good ducks, old ducks can do two things. He can... Skull splitter. Uh, you can choose to have a... Uh, you can shoot with a special sort of shot that has 100% crit chance, which is double damage, I guess. Yeah. Uh, but with with less accuracy than mm -hmm. you would normally have. Mm -hmm. uh, knee shot. Disable an organic enemy's movement for four turns. For two turns. Two turns, sorry. And another health booster and well, a movement booster. The only thing you can afford right now is to do the stat plus yeah. um, crit thing. Or you could save your points, I guess. No, I'm not going to save my points. No. I'm going to take that, and I'm going to take the health boost. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Cool. Look at him go. And I guess Ooh. I'm going to use the med kit. C look, there's a there's a thing. I've, I thought about that before. Was like, uh, does that mean that I can um, me. turn that on maybe as a distraction? Was that it? Huh? Oh, no, it's an artifact. All right, cool. Uh, okay. Cool. Use artifact points to buy upgrades in the Look arc. At this beauty. The ancients left a lot And there's of more sparkly things. Yeah, 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 we're going to Once this in a place. while you see something like this. Wonder what these buttons are for. I wouldn't touch it if I were you. I'm not kidding around. Lay off the buttons. What's up your butt? That's a bomb, all right? <laughs> used to call it a boom box. Touch that red button, and it goes boom. Don't oh, be pretending right. you know what any of this crap is. We'll bring it back to the Ark and show it to Prip. Ask him what it's worth on the black market. So, do you think <clears throat> there would have been some loot inside the house that you destroyed with your grenade? It's not impossible. Oh, Ooh. the Gaper. The gas-powered cannon. Um, typically humorously named after the type of damage it has been known to deliver. That's disgusting. Uh, um, I guess that's for Borman. That is definitely for Borman. Oh, but that's a weapon part, apparently. No, no, that's a weapon. Oh. Nice, a hand grenade. So if I go to the inventory now, maybe I can just switch from the scatter gun to yeah, the gaper. It has better damage. Mhm. Mm uh, lower crit damage, lower crit chance, lower ammo. But range it can is destroy covers. As well? Huh? What about, uh, the range is the same, yeah. Range is the same, but it, it, and it can destroy covers. So... But I'm gonna try it, it yeah, sounds yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah. Alright. There's yeah. something inside. Yeah, that's the guy. Scrap, but there's more. Rare scrap. No, it's, just, it's just more scrap. Alright. So far we're alive, but we've taken damage in both encounters, mm -hmm. uh, because I suck. <laughs> and now we're out of medkits. Ooh, look at that lens flare. That's some good lens flare. Uh, mm -hmm. I, and I guess up on the under the character portraits on the top left, it actually shows the kill count for each character. Ah. Which is good, because like maybe you want to keep track of that for like who gets close to a level up or something. And we get to the next area. I assume the longer the game goes on, the more crowded the skull zone is going to get. Mm -hmm. I think it might be permission. That it just resets after yeah. every mission. 